Hey everyone, welcome back. Today let's talk about the five-pointed star. We'll start with two questions. Where have we seen this symbol before? And when have we used it before? Think about it. What do we put on top of a tree every year for Christmas? That's right, the five-pointed star. Now, according to the definition, a pentagram is a five-pointed star drawn using five straight lines. Like this. You see it more clearly here. So, if I think where I saw this symbol, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is practice of spellcasting, magic, video games, stuff like that. You know, stuff like this. Spell books. In fact, the symbol has multiple meanings, one of which is uh, the astrological star pattern of Venus, as seen from the Earth. It's called the pentagram of Venus because it has five lobes where Venus makes its closest approach to Earth. Being associated to magic, it's obvious that the entertainment industry would use this symbol in their music videos, movies, video games. A pentagram that's surrounded by a circle, or encircled, is called a pentacle. The pentacle makes a widespread appearance in tarot cards. As you can see, it's in a lot of places. Um, even in the magician tarot card, it makes an appearance on the altar along with the cup, the sword, and the wand. As you can see here, the magician has one hand pointing upwards, the other one pointing downwards. This is the as above, so below symbolism. And around his waist, there's a cord, a belt, coiled as a snake, biting its tail. This relates to the Ouroboros, another symbol we might discuss in a future video. Moving on and taking a look at this picture makes me think automatically about magic wands, spellcasting, fairies. This culture has been so embedded in our consciousness that we haven't stopped to ask ourselves where does it come from? This five-pointed star not only appears in the entertainment industry but also on clothes and in real-life monuments. This is taken from the Amiens Cathedral in France. You can clearly see an inverted pentagram over the window. This is from the People's Palace in China. Now why would they put the five-pointed star on the ceiling of their most important building? It's also on this guy's hat right here. This is the Hollywood Walk of Fame. A lot of magic practices are related to Hollywood, and a lot of movies feature subliminal programming. This is from Hanover, Germany. A church there has the inverted pentagram. This is the American Medal of Honor. Again, it makes me wonder why they chose the pentagram as a design. Another meaning of the five-pointed star relates to alchemy and the five elements. Air, earth, fire, water, and the most important element, spirit, without which nothing could be. The way the pentagram is shaped puts the spirit on top, since it's the most important element. Now, when some symbols are inverted, their meaning also becomes inverted. In this case, inverting the pentagram with the point downwards puts matter over spirit. We notice that our consumer-based society likes to promote this kind of idea, that it's more important to have material things than to gain spiritual knowledge. One look at the fashion industry is enough to prove this reality. As we can see, the use of inverted symbols is widespread in the fashion. But what exactly does esoteric mean? 
We have mentioned that symbols are a powerful medium of communication since they convey instantaneous information. That's why they say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, esoteric knowledge is hidden knowledge. If a symbol is er esoteric in nature, that means that its meaning is obscured to the masses. Since esoteric knowledge is the hidden knowledge, which opens up our perception to the truth and reality behind our existence. Nowadays, however, it's commonly taught to doubt the nature of spirituality because the focus of what we're being told and what we're being shown is to draw us towards materialism and material philosophies. That's why you see a lot in the media uh, ridiculing mostly anything that is esoteric or relates to spirituality. The intention behind the, these inverted symbols, or dark symbols if you will, is to be enslaved by pleasures and negativity and blinded to reality. Because not all these symbols uh, are evil in themselves until you invert them. For instance, the star, the five-pointed star with the point upwards, uh, can represent the awakened man. While the inverted star, the pentagram, represents the opposite the ignorant man, and can be associated with diabolical forces. Taking a look at the fashion industry, we see a lot of symbolism, esoteric in nature. The pyramid, the all-seeing eye, the hexagram, the owl, the crescent moon, the sun, all these symbols have been used by ancient civilizations throughout history. Why are they still being used? Why are they used for the purpose they are used by the fashion industry? This is lightweight. Let's take a look at more blatant symbolism. Here the UNIF, Hollywood Clothing Company, uses satanic symbolism. As you can see, the inverted cross, the inverted pentagram, encouraging to repeat sins, 666, the eyes, Luciferby, don't care, promoting ignorance and indifference. Is it all a coincidence? Do we even have to ask this question now? Is this not a rhetorical question? The most recent, often and disturbing use of the five-pointed star is from Satanists. This is a picture taken from the Church of Satan, which used the inverted pentagram as a symbol, sometimes adding the goat's head to the equation. Doing some research and checking the meaning of this, we find that in Satanic theology, the pentagram signifies the triumph of matter, and the goat's head is a symbol of sexual repression. We see Satanists often promoting sexual immorality, adultery, homosexuality, and various perversion and fetishes. Considering all this, we should ask ourselves why this symbol is so present in our society. This is a random picture I found on the internet while searching for pentagrams. I don't know where it's from, but we can deduce from the pictures on the wall, the girl here, and the drawing, the cloud, that this is a place where children come and draw or, or paint or I don't know. Basically, that's, this is the message I get from what I'm seeing here, that it's a place for children. And the immediate question that comes to mind is, why is this inverted pentagram here? where children come to play or learn or whatever. Why do they put it here? What's the agenda behind it? There's a lot to learn, and this stuff can be disturbing sometimes, even scary. But if we are afraid to pursue the truth, 
then we choose ignorance, which is a form of masochism. Even if we are not physically cutting ourselves, it's still spiritual masochism if we choose ignorance rather than to know the truth. Even if the truth is disturbing and scary, it sets us free, and if we are free, there is nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know what weapons are being used against you, so you gain the ability to defend yourself. At the end of the video, let's do another exercise. Looking at this picture, see a lot of pentagrams here, hanging from the ceiling, but there is a symbol, again, in the background, sort of, of the image, that's hidden in plain sight, and there's a lot of history and meaning behind that symbol as well. Can you see it? It's right here on the floor. It's the eight-pointed star, or the Star of Ishtar. Another symbol you've seen in many places is the six-pointed star, or the hexagram. Now for the next video, I'd like you to choose what you want to see. Do you want to see a video about the eight-pointed star, or a video about the six-pointed star? Do you want to see the star of Ishtar, or the hexagram? Both are very interesting symbols. Please let me know which one you want in the comments. Remember to stay vigilant and don't let yourself be distracted from the truth.